so as our portfolio grows and you know we get older capital increases our ability to withstand the volatility in the market reduces i mean this actually this is uh, from my personal experience not everybody will go through this but as i am getting older and the capital base is increasing i don't want too much volatility uh, of my portfolio but i still want my portfolio to grow right i mean you still would want like to see your portfolio grow when you are deploying larger capital you want decent returns to come in at volatility so what usually happens is that when you look at this combination of decent returns with lower volatility you tend to think of only large caps as a option you know most of the uh large pools of capital are concentrated in that top couple of 100 300 stocks only i mean there is enormous number of studies around that so are large caps actually conservative bets is the is the next question and whenever volatility hits the market nifty itself which is of course large caps has gone down as much as 50% in 2001 as much as 65% in 2008 and nearly 39% in 2020 recently so you really cannot say that large caps have low volatility they do have lower volatility than than other stocks but do not have absolute low volatility for instance in covid crash large cap stocks like indusind bank tata motors hindalco axis bank upl bajaj finance bajaj finserv mahindra ongc all these top stocks fell more than 50% uh, in that crash uh, and and you can see even hdfc bank uh, coal india reliance all were down more than 40% in that crash so large caps have their issues for sure now mid and small caps also have had you know high alpha compared to large caps but the drawdowns are higher that is the sort of catch with mid and uh, small cap stocks now if we look at purely mid and small cap index 400 and see the drawdowns you will see that 2008 this also went to nearly 70% 72% versus 65 of nifty and here it went to 50% versus 40% on nifty so while the drawdowns are deeper they are not so so starkly different from what we saw in large caps you know yes slightly deeper but not so different so the problem with drawdowns as you already probably know is that if you fall 5 feet uh, from the road you'll still get up and run again if you fall 15 feet into a ditch and you will not be able to get out and you will not be able to proceed with your journey so the shallower you fall the better are the chances that you be able to recover and continue your journey so what should be your ideal strategy for larger capital and when i'm saying larger capital it may mean let's say greater than 25 lakhs or oriented towards hni kind of clients so you want to outperform the benchmark you want some wealth preservation put into that diversification should be nice and lower drawdowns should be the uh, the result of this mix and so what if you could invest in a strategy based on the high alpha mid and small cap uh, stocks and also focus on capital preservation so we want to present to you the strategy called hni wealth builder this will be uh, launched soon it's a weekly rebalanced absolute momentum strategy uh, it is highly diversified up to 50 trending stocks the mid and small cap stocks above 1000 crore market cap will only be considered so a lot of the small caps which are let's say beyond the 500th market cap position will get taken out uh, the strategy dynamically goes to cash when the markets are uh, overly weak and the core focus of this is to preserve and maintain capital now how does hni wealth builder navigate 
market volatility. Let's take three phases of the mid and small cap 400 index over the last seven odd years and how HNI Wealth Builder has managed to extract our performance from the benchmark in each of these phases. So we have considered the phase from April 16 till uh, recently 18th of October, seven and a half years, where the first phase you had mid and small cap index go from 100 to about 181. So about 80% gain in these two years. And then from 2018, from 181, it dropped down to 90. So halved from there, 50% drop. And from 90, it recovered back to 185 by 2021. So this entire phase of approximately January 2018 to January 2021, three years uh, spent in this drawdown and coming back. And then post that in the last two and two, two and a half years, we've gone from uh, 180 odd to about 344 odd. This is the journey of the mid and small cap index since 2016. Now let's focus on phase one where we went up 80% within a matter of couple of years and see how uh, the strategy has performed. So HNI Wealth Builder uh, started on uh, April 2016 and in these years uh, would have achieved 107% uh, versus 76% on the mid and small cap index. In the second phase where we had a 50% drawdown and recovery, how would have the uh, HNI Wealth Builder done in this phase? It has dropped by a maximum of nearly 21% instead of the 48.3 on the index and at the end of this of this phase it is up at 37 percent versus three percent on the index now the phase three where it is again expanding the index going from 180 to 344 almost doubling in this uh, period of 2.7 years here uh, the underlying strategy went up 88 percent underlying index and the uh, HNI Wealth Builder went from 137% uh, up, so 100 going to 237 on all that. So extremely good uh, returns on all sides of the market. So when market is going up, HNI Wealth Builder is going up faster. When market is coming down, HNI Wealth Builder is coming down slower and recovering very fast in the recovery. So outperformance on the upside as well as outperformance on the downside and these two together actually create that magic. Now the benefits of diversification here are plenty. Uh, a lot of folks think that a diversification beyond 2025 stocks is a, uh, is a waste or it does not help. But this strategy over the last seven years has shown that a diversification of up to 40, 50 stocks also has helped in creating this amazing returns over time. So only 2% of, of the entire portfolio gets allocated to one stock at any point of time. And the HNI Wealth Builder has successfully busted this myth that highly diversified strategies cannot perform. Now, the performance metrics of this strategy, which went live first April 2016 till date is 577% is the absolute returns. Uh, mid and small cap index in the same period has clocked to 46. The CAGR is nearly 29% versus mid and small cap index of 17.9. And the max drawdown here is 25.3% versus that of uh, the mid and small cap 400 index at 50%. The ROMAD ratio, of course, is fantastic at 1.1 versus minus 0.4 here. Uh, in terms of uh, the 100 rupees invested in HNI Wealth Builder from April 16 has become 677 rupees. I mean, this is just purely amazing and in the same uh, index would have been 346. In terms of three-year absolute rolling returns, this strategy has not had any three-year period which 
caused it to go into negative. So any three-year period, the lowest return was 8%. Uh, and currently, the last three-year returns is 179%. Uh, it has remained above the uh, underlying index in all periods on this. In terms of three-year rolling CAGR, uh, again, the rolling CAGR has reached the lowest at 2.4% in COVID times and currently at 40.9 versus 33.9 on the mid and small cap index. So any three year period and the CAGR of that is being depicted here. Now CAGR since launch. So when we started in 2016, uh, from very first year, uh, you had this uh, CAGR extremely high. And then due to COVID, it did fall down to nearly 13%. But as it came out of COVID and consolidated, it has recovered back to 28.8%. The underlying index has gone just below zero at the time of COVID crisis. Annual returns since launch 2017, we had a return of 54% versus 37.2 on the index. In FY18, we had 22.8 versus 14.5. Uh, FY19 was a disappointment. We lost 10% versus 5 on the index. FY20 was a remarkable outperformance, lost only 2% versus 34% on, uh, on the index. FY21 was pretty much in line with the index, 97 versus 105. FY22 was a beat at 35 versus 27. FY23 was at minus 2 versus minus one and FY24 so far uh, till 17th of October is up 55% versus 37. So overall, a very satisfying and remarkable performance of this strategy. Uh, these are the quarterly numbers. I will not go through all of them, but you can see that in most quarters, it would have beaten uh, the underlying index uh, quite smartly especially in the ones where the underlying index was heavily beaten down. Okay. Now, if you were sipping in this strategy uh, and uh, over a period of last 7.5 years uh, at 10,000 rupees uh, per uh, month, you would have contributed 9.1 lakhs till date. The strategy would have yielded you 28.9 lakhs uh, till date at 29% uh, XIRR and uh, the, uh, the uh, contribution would be 9 lakhs and the underlying index would be at 19.3 lakhs. So compounding over a period of time is amazing when the underlying strategy is robust. So far, these are the total trades that have been taken in this strategy in last seven years approximately you can say 600 trades are done so over seven and a half years uh, uh, that would mean somewhere near 90 trades uh, uh, per year 90 transactions on a uh, 50 stock portfolio is about 2x churn slightly less than that so two times uh, the churn of of the portfolio every year only 45% of the transactions will win, 55% of the transactions will lose. But this is the beauty of it that the average gain on the winner will be 50% and the average loss is 11.5%. This is how the entire math comes together that even though the winners and losers are somewhat equal, but each winner is very, very strong plus 50% on average and each loser is minus uh, 11 and a half percent in the last seven years these are the top winners and losers so tanla uh, platforms is one of the biggest winners at 800 percent gain so you allow your winners to run as long as they want to run alkyl amine ran for 460 percent graphite at 411 percent saregama at 356 percent persistent systems at 320 percent what is the biggest losses we had Shilpi was one of the biggest losses at 55%. Ratnamani was 32%. Hind Oil Exploration, uh, CMI Cables and Fair Camor were some of the other ones at minus 30 
percent or around so you can see that the largest gainers are much much bigger than the largest losers and that's how uh, you basically cut your losers short just to show you visually how uh, you know the strategy will uh, pick winners so strategy will pick winners uh, once they are uh, you know established momentum uh, above their 52 week highs uh, this, for this standalone platform for instance we entered at 87 rupees and we exited somewhere around 800 rupees uh, within a matter of a year year and a half and then we did not bother to enter it again uh, alkyl mines also we entered at 660 rupees exited near 3700 rupees currently at 2200 rupees graphite india we entered at uh, 121 exited at 619 last five years we have not looked back at graphite uh, use that money at, as opportunity elsewhere so a lot of uh, benefits of having a proper strategy here uh, just to uh, summarize the hni wealth builders key usps high alpha mid and small caps are the uh, basis of this strategy dynamic cash allocation so if market uh, contracts and goes into a tc you go to cash and wait uh, highly diversified so up to 50 stocks in the portfolio between 40 and 50 usually uh, tremendous track record i mean this is the best performing uh, strategy that we have which is suitable for a larger capital to be deployed so the recommended capital here is minimum of 25 lakhs you can start with 10 lakhs if you like 15 lakhs but we would like you to build it up to a minimum 25 as soon as possible and uh, carry it to about 1 cr Subscription fee for this is flat fee at 4499. And what we're doing is we are limiting this to 100 slots only. So once we have filled up these slots, we will shut this strategy for new users and only the existing users will continue uh, for uh, three, five, seven year period. And if and when people will drop off, only then those specific slots will be opened for others so this is going to remain a very exclusive community uh, where you will have some additional benefits also for being a part of uh, this particular uh, strategy and we are going to launch this on the diwali uh, murat session at 6 pm so please mark your calendars it's going to be a very limited uh, edition uh, strategy uh, it won't be available uh, post that day i think so please do uh, mark your calendars if you wish to enter this. Thank you so much.